I'm Dr. Ian, and today we're gonna to talk about leaky gut. What is it exactly? What causes leaky gut? And how does it make us feel? And if we do have it, how can we reverse this particular condition? Well, what leaky gut is, is a permeability issue where you have certain types of toxins that leak in between the intestinal lining and goes right into your bloodstream. And when this happens, it creates an inflammatory cascading effect leading to, to, to certain conditions or diseases. It makes us feel bad. We, have, we can have chronic fatigue syndrome or fibromyalgia, or we have pain in the joints and other types of conditions. So this is not a good condition to have, obviously. So what happens is we have an erosion factor in our GI lining that takes place or that's caused from environmental toxins or maybe we're eating too much of the genetically modified foods where we should be eating more organic type foods. We could be drinking too much alcohol or we can have a lot of infections, too many parasites that can lead to this erosion. We can also have anxiety or too much stress or a lack of sleep that creates certain stress chemicals that can contribute to the erosion process. So all these things um, over a period of time can cause a lot of damage to our GI lining microscopically. Now, if you're going in for a scope um, like an endoscopy to, to rule out certain types of conditions, well, they're not gonna see the leaky gut on, on these diagnostic tests. They may look for um, an ulceration or polyps that will show up on these types of diagnostic tests, but it's not gonna show um, leakiness because this happens on a microscopic level. These villi, what we call villi, is within your gut lining. Now notice you have individual cells here that are adjacent to one another. And you have certain types of bridges here that are held together by certain proteins. And so you should have a nice tight juncture there. But you'll notice these other cells. Notice how you have the separation here and you have big molecules that are leaking into the bloodstream, which is in this particular area here. You can also have a decay in certain cells that, that prompts the immune system to release cytokines, which are harmful to our, um, our cells and to our tissues that creates damage eventually. So this is what I'm um, talking about in terms of leakiness, where you have these bridges that are broken and you have huge gaps microscopically that lead to these, these molecules or toxins leaking into the bloodstream, creating these types of effects. Let me advance the slide here. So this, I'm not gonna get into details here, but what it tends to happen is when you have these bridges that break down, it leaks in to the bloodstream, causing this inflammatory effect. And what tends to happen is it, could lead to certain types of conditions, as I mentioned earlier. If you look at this left-hand column here, you could potentially have these types of conditions. Now, the way you can tell it's from leaky gut is through a protein called zonulin. You have zonulin leaking into the bloodstream, and if it's if it's elevated, then that shows that you have a, a problem because you have a break off of these proteins coming through the bridges. So once again, let me go back and show you what I mean. So these bridges right in through this area here, when they start getting broken off, you have these proteins that leak in to the bloodstream. And so you could do a certain uh, type of blood test or stool testing. And if you have an elevation of those particular proteins, then it's conclusive that you have the condition of leaky gut. The other thing that happens is that you have a lot of bacteria in, within the gut, both healthy and opportunistic and commensal. And what happens is you have what's called lipo lipopolysaccharides that leak into this leakiness and goes into the bloodstream that also contributes to an inflammatory uh, condition. So it's really, really important to screening out environmental toxins coming into your body, making sure you're breathing fresh air, clean water, 
that you're staying away from genetically modified foods and eating more organic type of foods. Um, watch the stress in your life, making sure you're sleeping through the night. Those types of things will really help to prevent this leakiness. Now, what do you do once you have the leakiness? Well, the best thing you can do is to give your digestive tract a break. Stay away from food, drink broth. So go on a broth fast for about three to four, even five days. It's been shown that if you fast for a five day period of time, that stem cells start to increase and you, you start going through autophagy, which means cellular rejuvenation and recycling. But if you do a broth fast, what happens is the rich collagen comes into your, your, your GI tract and it starts to heal the gut lining. And so you wanna do this for at least two to three days. And if you can, do it for five days. So what this does is it conserves a lot of energy because your, your, your digestive tract won't be busy um, digesting whole foods. So you want to do this for, for a period of time so that you allow your gut to heal. Your body has the ability to heal itself as long as you remove the interferences and feed it the raw material that it needs in order to plug up the holes. And if you do this, then guess what? Over time, your gut lining will heal appropriately so that the barriers will regrow and allow the screening process to occur appropriately. And when this happens, you'll start to feel a lot better. The bloating should um, downregulate. The um, pain or cramping that you're having should decrease. And bowel movements should be more consistent when you have um, this condition in proper order. You should also have a, an increase in energy levels. The joints should start to reduce in pain. And just by following this easy step of refraining from food. Now, I, I realize we're, we love food, but if you can just sacrifice a little bit and just do nothing but um, drinking these, this particular liquid for a period of time, it'll create some major healing to occur. The other things that would be helpful is, is eating fermented foods or um, after the, the liquid fast, eating fermented foods like sauerkraut or kimchi. There's a lot of fermented drinks out there that you can bring in good, healthy, and rich probiotics into the system that will also contribute to healing. There are also supplements that you can take. You want to take at least a hundred billion count of a high quality probiotic that includes bacillus and lactobacillus um, type of strains that will help to accelerate the healing process. And as I mentioned earlier, you want to make sure that you're sleeping through the night and reducing the stressors in your life to facilitate this healing process. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel below so that you can get more information on gut healing tips and other types of health information. We'll see you um, on the next video.